there is someone here who wants a brand new beginning with you in love okay but the person is living in fear right now probably because you blocked this person right now okay or this person has the it has you on block is what i'm getting here but definitely there is a new brand new emotional cycle there's a fresh new start a new beginning here but with the moon here, there's a lot of uncertainty is what I'm getting. Someone here is thinking of the worst outcome here. This person wants to come towards you. They want to approach you. Okay. This person could have been having their guards up all this while. But now this time they're coming towards you. They're wanting to fight for this connection. Okay. So they could have been very defensive all this while. Okay. Keeping you at an arm's length. You know, asking you to back off. Or they literally blocked you away and they blocked their own blessings. Now this person is ready to uh, fight for this connection. They're ready to fight for this new beginning with you. Okay. And uh, they're standing their ground. But with the moon here, I feel that there's a lot of uncertainty around the connection here, okay, around the situation. There's a lot more that needs to be revealed. You're in the dark, you've left in the dark, and you don't know what's really going on, because probably there's no communication between you guys. Alright, what is this person doing right now? What is this person doing right now that Leo is dealing with? What is this person doing right now that Leo is dealing with? Yeah. This person looks at you as someone that they want that is marriage material okay so this person definitely looks at you someone uh, who realizes their worth their value they see you as someone very grounded they also have a realization that you have been the rock of the relationship all this while but you could be very focused on your finances okay on your own building your own career but you're not investing into them but they definitely see you as someone who's standing in their power okay and you don't really give a shit to them here now they finally have the willingness and the determination to make things happen this person is coming up as a magician so they are definitely in that energy of in that full-blown manifestation mode this person wants to take action but they have that strong will to make it happen with you they are hell-bent on moving towards you okay no matter what the obstacles are they will come towards you and they want to come towards you okay this is good clarity in communication they want to move forward uh, towards you with good communication okay they want clarity in their head they want to give you clarity but they're coming towards you in um full speed i feel this person could be resisting this move for a very long time this could be someone who is emotionally unavailable this person could be shut someone who was shut down to love you know someone who doesn't feel that they were worth loving or there was just unrequited love you gave this person your all and this person was someone who was holding back all this while now this person is ready to, you know, open up to the uh, idea of love. They want to reciprocate the love, okay? But again, like I said, with the moon here, things, a lot of things are unsaid and there's a lot that needs to be discovered here, okay? Everything's still in the dark here. But whoever this is, someone out here has a lot of fears, okay? And these fears usually are very unrealistic fears. It's either due to their past experiences or because you just have a certain opinion about someone. But uh, you could be feeling that someone's hiding a lot from you. This person could also be someone here who has a lot of deep emotions for you, but they don't know how to approach you or how well you're going to be uh, reciprocating their offer. But this person wants a renewal and they want a reconciliation with you. But the magician here, they're definitely manifesting a brand new opportunity with you. Okay, They're manifesting a new opportunity with you. This person knows they have everything that they need to make it happen with you and they're coming towards you for sure. What's the reason of the situation? Ace of the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, what's the reason of the situation? Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Yeah. Now this person is very determined to come towards you. Okay. This person could be holding back all this while, waiting for the right time to approach you. Okay. But I feel they finally feel it's the right time here. This person could be someone who is thinking very negatively about the situation that oh nothing's really going to work out, they've missed your opportunity, they've missed the bus and it's just not going to work out. Now I feel they're mustering the courage to come towards you. They've had some kind of divine guidance, There's, they've been spiritually guided to come towards you, okay? Like it's like the roads are opening towards you and they're finally going to, they could have made you wait for a very long time is what I'm getting, okay? But this person was definitely uh, feeling like there were a lot of delays between you guys and things were just, there was a lack of change between you guys. But here, yeah, something's changing here okay and now this person feels the need to address the issue and they want to come towards you right now like they literally feel like they're going to you're going to get away they don't want you to get away and with the six of wands i feel they're very 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 determined on moving towards you okay and wanting to give you the public recognition wanting to um make uh, put a label on this connection or wanting to take things to the next level see the four of wands here bottom of the deck this person th sees you as someone who they want long term with they see you as marriage material and they want long-term commitment with you. They want to celebrate. They want a union with you. You could be in a twin flame journey. Okay. What's the most likely thing to happen next? What's the near future? 
What's the most likely thing to happen next? What's the near future? What's the near future? Too many cards, but I saw the temperance, so I'm gonna take that. Okay. Two more cards for the near future. Hmm. This person, um, this person, you know what? I feel someone out here was non-committal or not sure if they wanted to marry you or not or if they wanted to take things to the next level and get things committed because I'm seeing a lot of realization with this person like, okay, you know what? This time I'm ready to open up. I'm ready to be vulnerable. I'm ready to open up my emotions. I'm ready to come forth correct this time, okay? And believe me, with the seven of wands here, this person is being prepared to fight for something that they want to stand up for, okay? This time they're going to fight for this connection here. And I feel in the near future with the temperance here, yes, something's going to take time. This person is finally trying to balance out the situation. In the right time, in divine timing, this person is going to come in towards you, not only with communication, but at the same time, this person is going to come in towards you with commitment. They're going to come in to offer you uh, a lot of love. They're going to sweep you off your feet here. Okay, but it's just going to be about time. Okay, when it's the right time, that's when this person is going to come in. They're not going to come in like yeah, tomorrow. Okay, because the temperance is definitely the card of patience. You have to be very, very patient with the process. You can't push the other person to do what you feel like. You can't push the other person to give you a resolution. Like, give me a fucking yes or no right now and right now. No, it's not going to work like that. Uh, you you may probably get very frustrated. There are chances where you will just completely cut this person off. Okay, it's not going to work. No matter what you do, it's not going to work. Temperance, this is universe intervening. Okay, this is divine uh, is at work. So they will turn and twist the situation and bring it towards you at the right time. By the time they come towards you, whether you want to accept their offer or accept this reconciliation, it's going to be up to you. But Divine thinks that is the right time and that's when it's going to happen. Okay. See the Hierophant here. I feel this person is learning their lessons. Okay. They're either they're ch changing their belief system. So probably there could be some kind of difference between you guys. But this person thinks something's just very unorthodox. Or this person thinks something's just uh, too traditional for them. And they didn't want to get it. They didn't want to get into it. Okay. Something was too out of the box for them. Or they were just not so traditional. But now... Um, this person is letting go of their tricks, deception, whatever they had. I don't see any deceptive cards here. I get, I'm getting a lot of now I'm ready kind of energy here. Okay. That's the kind of energy I'm getting here. Like now I'm ready. I was waiting for the right time. I was learning my lessons and I'm ready and prepared to come towards you and give you what you deserve here. Okay. What's the best possible outcome for this spread? What's the best possible outcome for this spread? What's the best possible outcome for this spread? Nine of Wands. Hmm. You're going to make, have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice here. Because someone's watching you, still watching you from a distance. Because see with the temperance here, there's still going to be some time here. This person is watching you from a distance, okay? They're very guarded. This person is someone who's got huge security issues, okay? They don't trust. They never fully give in to the connection here because this person's very guarded. I think this person's done this with you like a several times, okay? And they're on guard. They're pretty fed up, exhausted, tired, but they're not giving up on this. They're still holding on. They have that one last want left. They're ready to fight for this. That's for sure. But they're still what? Uh, they're keeping an eye on you, okay? And uh, I think this person will come towards you, okay? Because they know with the Queen of Cups here that you have a lot of love for them, okay? This is someone who knows that you love them a lot. They know you love them a lot. And they're wanting to come towards you, okay? But there is that defensive energy here. But I'm getting here that this person's not going to give up, okay? They're not ready to give up. They will fight for this connection. See, from the 7 here, they're getting to the 10 here. After, to the 9 here. So they're almost at the end of the cycle that they feel they're struggling with. Okay. They're almost at the end of it. I think it's going to be up to you when this person comes in. The decision is going to be yours because I do see you as someone who has a lot of love for them. That's at least that's how they view you as someone who has a lot of love for them. Okay. From the queen of pentacles, there are chances you will turn into the queen of cups by the time they come in. 
but uh, I feel that this person knows that you have a lot of emotions for them. They are showing they are coming up as the Knight of Cups here, but you are coming up as Queen of Cups. So I feel the love offer that they're going to make in the near future. It will get you into your feelings, okay? And you're going to have to um, trust your intuition, your psychic guidance and choose whether you want to make yourself a priority or whether you want to still give this person a second chance and go for the unconditional love. But I feel this person is finally going to muster the courage, gather the courage and get that willingness to make things happen with you. They could be at a distance from you and they are going to travel towards you. Okay, so yeah, looks like traveling is on the cards here with also the six of swords and the chariot here. I feel there is someone who this is a long distance relationship with. Okay, so travel could be involved here. Okay, and I think out here with the temperance and wheel of fortune, it's all about divine. It's all about divine timing. None of this is going to be in your control or this person's control. As soon as this person realizes or as soon as universe gives them a sign, all the roads are going to open up and they're immediately going to come towards you. But it's going to be some time before they come towards you, but they are. Not only will they come and communicate this to you, but they will also open up to you emotionally, okay? And this time I feel with the Six of Wands and Ace of Cups, not only is going to be their emotional fulfillment, but this person will be is hell-bent on having that victory, that success with you, okay? Let's see, let's see the Queen of Cups. What's the Queen of Cups? Hmm. This person wants a beginning with you for sure. They're ready to offer you something stable. Okay. But I think you're the one who doesn't trust them. You don't have your guards up, but you're just not sure. You want much more information. You want to find out more before this, before you commit to this situation completely. Yeah. So I feel you're making yourself a priority as the outcome here. You're going to choose yourself and you're choosing to shut down emotionally. Okay. But remember, when you shut down, when the Queen of Cups shuts down, she usually shuts down her intuition too. Okay. So you're someone who's thinking logically, whereas with the Queen of Cups, that's just not your element. Okay. You're more about emotions here. So yeah, there are chances by the time this person comes in, you could become a little bitter towards them. Okay. And you're going to be like, I don't trust you. I mean, I need to know more before I let you in completely in my life. That's for sure. I think it's going to literally uh, put you at a crossroads. Do you want this? Do you not want this? So, I want to clarify the moon here. Why is the moon here in the present situation? Hmm. This person was at a phase, okay, or they, either there could be too many people involved in your connection, okay, too many people influencing your connection or there's just too much competition, whatever. This person could also be very conflicted in their head, okay? Because I think you could have ended a chapter with this person, okay? Emotional and physical distance is also what I see. You could be living, a, you could be at a distance from this person, could be a long distance relationship, could be online. But um, this person is definitely ready to end a very difficult cycle in their life and they're going to come towards you, okay? Wanting a brand new beginning with you. Their only fears is that if they come towards you, it's going to trigger some kind of chaos and some kind of drama between you guys, okay? That's their only fear about how, like I said, how you're going to be able to, uh, how you will reciprocate to this person coming back into your life. That's the biggest fear that's holding them back, okay? But that's what I have for you, Leo. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.